could you please show me how to make the wild rice um, casserole? Uh, I would love to be able to do that, and we're looking forward to demonstrating that for you right now, Amanda. What is Canadian Indigenous food? Essentially, it's the food of the original people who lived on this land for thousands of years, and those are my direct ancestors. I'm Anishinaabe, or Ojibwe, as we say in English, and I'm Algonquin. Wherever there's shallow uh, water in a lake, this beautiful rice root, it also cleanses the water, and it supports over two million species of insects, bird life, uh, the creatures that live in the water, and human beings. So today's recipe is uh, wild rice casserole. Mushrooms, the cremini mushrooms, we've got celery going on here. And Lara's about to chop up some fresh orange pepper and some yellow pepper. You can use any peppers. And those three vegetables are all going to be chopped up in quite small portions. And then we're going to saute them and get them ready to add them to the wild rice and the brown rice. And as we know, the brown rice and wild rice are together in the steamer. Wild rice in the steamer. I'm gonna put that into a bowl and wait for that to cool off while the vegetables are sauteing in the pan over there. I prefer to use a steamer, but not everybody has a steamer. So you can boil it on the stovetop, pretty straightforward pan. And we're gonna put a little bit of um, olive oil Sunflower oil would be the traditional choice, but today uh, we're going to use the fresh pressed um, olive oil for our sauteing. We're ready now to add the sauteed vegetables. We'll add a little bit more of the olive oil to this dish. You want just a little bit more, probably like two tablespoons, and then a little bit of the rice vinegar tablespoon of this or two tablespoons of this and then a little bit of black pepper which I really enjoy you can use any salt I, I try to encourage not to use your regular iodized table salt but this one here is pink Himalayan salt and then we're gonna mix it all up and this dish will be essentially done and ready for the tasting and uh, it's probably gonna make you guys hungry but we're we're gonna taste taste the dish Amanda, I wish I could give you some of this. Mm, I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to stop now that I started. <laughs> mm. It looks delicious. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. We say chimigwech uh, from our hearts, from the bottom of our hearts on this wonderful day. Even in these very hard times, it's so important to share joy and love. And if that's through food, if that's through getting an opportunity to walk in your gardens or say hello to each other on Zoom, then we share all of that support with you and we thank you so much for having us here today.